All right, guys, welcome to a, another beer review, and today we've got one that I'm uh, pretty excited to try, actually. And I don't usually, or usually, I should say, proper English beer, um, I don't usually subscribe to, like, awards or prestige when it comes to beer. Um, you know, when you see these, like, lists online and... When you see like the top rated beers, it's like, yeah, that's all well and good. But I don't know, it's just never really been something that I'm too interested in or take notice of when it comes to trying beers. But this one's a little bit different because up until now, I've only tried another, one more beer. Um, one other beer by these guys. And that was their IPA, which was a very standard but solidly crafted uh, IPA that we've all drank before, if that makes sense. And I was in Beretta fairly recently, and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to finally cave in and buy a couple of beers from these guys. And uh, I remember hearing that this beer had um, had done pretty well over the years um, and had been recognised by a lot of critics and that sort of thing. So I was like, yeah, uh, fair enough. And I've started to adopt a, a technique from James over at Rampant Line Beer Reviews of when I'm getting introduced to a new brewery, I want to start at least getting one pale beer from them and then one darker beer from them. So you get to try from both sides of the spectrum. Of course, if it's available, I'll pick up as many beers as I can from the, the label. Um, albeit how much money I've got at the time and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, clapping my hands all the time in this review, evidently. We're going over to the um, Hopfrei Hietrich. And uh, we're looking at Vito Choco Beer Choco Stout. So it's Chocolate Stout. Chocolate Bear as well. Cool name. I love the, uh, the, the geometric shapes. And they do that with all their labels for the various animals that they attribute to the beer. But um, yeah, I just love the, the design of these. And uh, I bet they do some absolutely fantastic glassware. But um, yeah, it's just a, a really striking looking label. And uh, as you can see from the Menninger uh, Beer Awards, they won a gold in 2016. And then 2017, I think that's like a platinum, platine? Yeah, International Craft Beer Awards, 2017, platine. So um, yeah, it's actually just a, a sticker, which I think they've put on fairly recently. But um, yeah, I thought, well, fair enough, I'll give it a go. So this is a chocolate stout, clock it in at 6.5%, and uh, the build is uh, barley malts are Munich, Vienna, and caramalts. Then they've got wheat malts, um, barley flakes, is that? And then um, oats in there as well. And the hops they've used are Willamette, Hallertauer, Mittelfruhe. So uh, an intriguing um, recipe there. So uh, beautiful looking beer and a plain crown on the top. So like I said, I was impressed with the IPA. The only thing that sort of um, would stop me from really picking it up again is the price of it. It was a little bit pricier than what I do uh, want to pay. And this was as well uh, when other beers are available. But if the price is worth it, then of course I'm going to pick it up again. And I said this in my IPA review, I'd love to try these beers like at the source. I'd love to try any beer at the source or as fresh as pop uh, popular. Fresh as possible. So uh, using my uh, beer varna snifter glass. And we're going to pour this in, see what we get. So, I won't pour it all in so I can get my nose in there. But beer in a glass then, and that is... It's not completely jet black, in fact, far from it. When you hold it up to the light, it's got some really nice murky ruby tones in there. But really, like, intense, oaky brown colour to it. And the beer poured with about one finger's worth of a lovely, sort of, khaki look. No, not khaki. Um, what colour? Yeah, sometimes you do these reviews and you just get so into it that... You just sometimes shut off midway through. So, uh, yeah, I'd say that's sort of like a beige looking head. And, um, yeah, it's very coffee-like in appearance. Looks really, really good. 
Let's see what we get on the aroma. And you get those roasted aromas straight away. Definitely get those oats in there, I'm finding. Yeah, lovely dark intense sweetness in this one. It's not really like sugary or anything, but like maybe a slightly overdone caramel, if that makes sense. Where it's just caught a little bit because there is a very gentle smoky character coming through. And maybe a hint of a char, if that makes sense. But yeah, definitely get a lovely sort of light baker's chocolate aroma. That coffee aroma is in there as well. Again, very nice and balanced. You do get those slight dark berry fruits coming through as well. So it's balanced really, really nicely. It's not like an intense smelling beer. But it's far from a dull smell of beer. It's a really nice, balanced, roasty, warming, welcoming smelling beer. And yeah, it's got that sort of like um, very slight coconut aroma in there. And I'm getting a very slight, in general, bounty bar sort of character. But yeah, it smells like a chocolate bar. You know, Choco beer, chocolate stout. stout. Yeah, from the aroma alone, it's nailed it already. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited to try this one. Let's see what it tastes like and let's see if it um, lifts up to the hype. Prost. That's lovely. That is a really nice beer. It's not what I thought it would be. But it's actually so much better than I thought it would be. It's gone in a completely different direction. And God, I've, I've not really tasted too many chocolate stouts like this one. Getting a lot of coconut in there. A lot of coconut. And it's it sort of like got that bounty bar flavour to it but maybe with a little bit of a darker uh, more laid back chocolate although it's like caramel chocolate wafer biscuits the the scottish brand i can't remember what it's called no i'm not going to go into a scottish accent but um yeah it's got that sort of like really nice uh, chocolate biscuit sort of flavour to it Body is a little bit lighter than I thought it would be, but it actually works within the uh, context of those flavours and the like. So I'm not going to complain about the body. It's a very satisfying texture. It's just uh, a little bit thinner than I was expecting. Getting a bit more berry now that it's all put in there. And it's almost like a a Black Forest Gatto flavour coming through now that it's all in the, the beer itself, in the glass itself. Stumble over my words these past like few reviews that I've been recording these last couple of weeks. So I do apologise about that. But yeah, this is like... There's no real intensity to this one. It's robust yet balanced. And those flavours that are in there are very 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 satisfying and it's it's comforting it's warming it almost has like imperial strength qualities in the flavors that you're getting in there but at 6.5 percent it's drinking heavier and more oh what's the right word more luxurious if that makes sense but minus alcohol warmth and alcohol harshness because sometimes, even at 6.5%, you do detect alcohol. But this is a really nice, like, laid-back, indulgent chocolate stout. Slight marzipan flavours coming through. You know, it's like... It's like going into a, a friggin' bakery. 
and just getting one of every like sweet sort of baked good. That's the sort of um, images that I'm getting. It's like raiding the cookie tin. Do you know what I mean? Just proper indulging in those biscuits with a nice cup of coffee. But yeah, you do definitely get the chocolate throughout. And now I'm, I'm drinking it. It's just a, it's a really nice, well balanced beer. Uh, is it worthy of the hype and the awards that it's getting? Um, I'd say so to an extent. Um, it's it's not the greatest uh, beer of this style that I've ever had, but it's far from an average one. It's hella far away from being a bad one. And um, yeah, from experiencing a lighter beer and a darker beer, these guys know what they're doing. And I want more of their beers, so I'm going to have to uh, look up next time I'm in Beretta if they've got any others available, because there's just that high quality to it. It's got like subtle nuances in there, and it's got little differentiated factors compared to other chocolatey stouts. It's so amazing how you can get these flavours without actually putting chocolate in there. I mean, that coconut flavour, you know, how did they get that? Where did that come from? Um, I know Firestone Walk with some of their barrel aged beers, because um, Average Joe has said, you know, they ne they've not put coconut in, but you can like create this slight coconut like flavour just with malts. And it's it's amazing. This reminds me of the um, the Meisel and Friends chocolate box. You know, you would swear that there was chocolate in there. But there isn't, and uh, I think the German brewing traditions, especially with the darker beers like the Box, Doppelbox, Schwarz beers, that sort of thing, and Dunkels, I think Germany's brewing culture and tradition helps when they brew beers like this, uh, chocolate stouts, and um, yeah, this is a, a damn fine beer. Um, is it a world class one? Hell yeah. Um, and I can't really pick up too many faults at all, um, if any. And uh, like I said, it, it sort of lives up to the hype. But again, when you see these beers, you get an impression in the back of your mind. So it's always going to work against you in the long run uh, when you do get round to trying these beers. But um, yeah, would I try it again? Hell yeah. Uh, for the price, again, the probably cheaper options available. But, you know, come Christmas time, if they did like a, a more amped up version of this, um, didn't alter the recipe too much and then barrel aged it, you know, that would be absolutely beautiful because there's a hell of a lot in there that can be worked with. But as a beer in its own right, I would not touch it. I wouldn't do anything to the recipe. And um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful beer. It's definitely going to be a 9 out of 10 from me so if you've tried this one as always let me know your thoughts opinions if you've tried anything else from the brewery likewise opinions and recommendations are always welcome uh, check out the brewery down below check out Beretta of course who have provided me with so many great beers over the past few years and more importantly uh, well actually no check out my uh, German craft beer playlist and my stout playlist for more examples of some really fine beers. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking with me for another long review. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll join me next time um, for another one. And hopefully I might have uh, a sensible person's hairstyle. See you guys later.